So we finally preparing the mosaic for the installation. Um, it's quite exciting, although a bit scary. Um, the idea is to lay out the mosaic on the floor in different sections um, to check how well the section fits together and lay the mosaic on paper together with the edging uh, made with the found objects from the river. And we're going to take the final measurements to make sure they are right and check for uh, any adjustment to be made in terms of colour, in terms of you know size of the sections and yeah, hopefully we've not found too many. How are we doing? We're a bit baffled. <laughs> do we need a... Um, do we need a... map? Is, have we got a map that tells us what... I think that's what... Yes. Yeah. 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 How are you so, here at this point? Have you, are you, no, this is okay. That's okay. Yeah. So... It might, it might turn out okay then. <laughs> oh, the precision of this task. I think we were better off with the bottom working. Yeah, they just need to, to it. And then at the bottom and the river were working okay. And then there was just a bit of a problem with Shakespeare. Okay, so let's, shall we move back? To I think we'll move everything up then, sorry. These are my little notes for the installation. Um, it's not a proper installation plan, but it kind of tells me what what sort of you know what sections goes where. And at the moment, I'm just writing down the section for the river bits, just to make sure that they are in the right place compared to the section of the mosaic. And then because we're going to put the section away, we're going to put them into boxes and they're going to have to be put in a certain order to make it easier on the daily installation just to pick up the right piece. Fraboski! Fraboski! Fully giovane! Very good. Impressive Italian process. Well, welcome here to South Bank's 8, and uh, here we are in the process of uh, um, constructing the, uh, the mosaics on, these, on the sea wall where we are here at the moment on the Queen Hive um, mosaic project. Anyway, we have to prepare the wall with a band of marble at the top and at the bottom. And in between, uh, we've got uh, the bands of bits and pieces that were found in the river. Uh, the mosaic then gets put up in between. We put it up with a, um, a special adhesive and fix the mosaics, uh, which gives them a solid bed, which makes them uh, very good in, a, in all weathers. This is the procedure. We've actually put the mosaic, uh, the uh, adhesive up already, and now we're actually going to pre grout the mosaic, which I'm going to do now and show you how we actually fix it. I push it into the joints gently. You do then, you slap it on very close to where it's supposed to go. So it sticks very quickly. You can't keep it in your hand too long because. Uh, because the paper dissolves very quickly and uh, it would break up in your hand so you haven't got long to actually take it, grab it and then put it, put it on the wall and then you beat it into place as you see and you line every line in as you can see uh, which the artists have pre-done for me uh, when they've actually made the mosaics up and I must make sure I push all the air bubbles out because Air bubbles can destroy a job. And when you've actually done that, you wet the mosaic. Now 
once it's actually set a little bit, you then with a trail, you actually start beating it like so. So you get it, so you get all the air bubbled out. There's an air bubble there, so you have to actually pierce the paper to get it out. And once you've done that, you know that the mosaic is fully bedded onto the wall. When the actual paper has actually dissolved after 25, 30 minutes, and you start taking the paper off, it will just peel off. And once it starts peeling off like that, the idea then is that you beat it, you beat one joint into the other, so you don't see the joints. You grab the top, like this. Got that on there, it dissolves the glue on top of the paper. And once the glue is dissolved, after a few minutes, you then wash it off. Then you give it another beat. And once you've done that, you give it a second wash. And then the day after that, you can give it a wash down with a, a, um, a very um, slight acid wash and that can clean it up perfect. Basically, the mosaic on paper came a little bit shorter um, to the edge. So because it's just one strip, literally the space of a quarter are just gonna just fill in straight to the wall uh, with the right colors hopefully <laughs> and it should be all right you know when you do these big jobs it's quite difficult to get it right and then we did some adjustment because of the wall it wasn't completely straight so we did cut the mosaic a bit shorter on paper maybe we went too short but it's an easy fix luckily it's just on the edge so I'm just gonna build the line missing with quarters. The hardest thing is putting up. <laughs> it's like putting up a U lot. <laughs> no, um, the hardest thing here is uh, is uh, these cobblestones. Walking on them, working on them. That's the hardest bit. The most rewarding uh, part of this job, obviously, is when I see it completely finished and it's all done. And obviously, like. People who are walking past all love it, so that tells you something. She's looking at the